Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You will be watching this on the 1st of April. Um, I'm film filming this on the last day of March, so you will be seeing this picture hopefully in March's roundup if we finish it in time. And uh, But you will be seeing this uh, actual colouring on the 1st of April. So happy April everybody. So we're going to colour in Enchanted Faces, Mermaids, Fairies and Fantasy Colouring Book by Hannah Lynn because I haven't really done any Hannah Lynn this year. Yeah, very much. Got two colours here. We're going to be using the Ohuhu's markers because I haven't used them yet on camera. And I've got skin white and what's the other one? I've got fruit is it fruit pink? No, powder pink. Or maybe I want medium pink. No, I think I'll go with um this um powder pink so just zoom in on her face now I, I'm not very good at doing faces and, I, I, and I'm certainly not very good at doing um, uh, blush so I'm just gonna have a go at it so how are you all how have you been um, I just want to say the reason I, I didn't do this earlier and I really wanted to do it a lot earlier um, was because, well, I was going to do it last night but then I was doing something and watching something and I looked at the clock and it was like half past ten and I thought, yeah, no, I ain't doing that. It's time for bed. So <clears throat> that's why you did not get it yesterday. Or, or yeah it on the so I was hoping to do it for so and I, I yeah I was just I think I've got an ear infection I've got a very itchy ear and it hurts to touch um so I've got to ring the doctors tomorrow and try and get an appointment it's very painful to touch and it itches terribly so I'll ring the doctors tomorrow and try and get an appointment to see somebody Hopefully they'll be able to then sort it out. Um, yeah, it's very, very annoying. The other, it's only one ear, but the other ear itches, but it's not as bad. So hopefully it won't be too bad when they uh, they do it. Now, one thing I've noticed about these oh hoo hoo markers is they're quite smooth, which is nice when you're colouring like this. So I'm really actually quite pleased with them. I mean, I haven't done much colouring with them yet, so I've only done a few little bits and pieces to to try them. But yeah, now yeah, I haven't put up my uh, completed pages yet. That will be going up very shortly. Um, that will be going up on uh, Friday, Friday the uh, the second of April because. Uh, yeah, that's when it will be ready. I'll be filming it tomorrow because I don't like to film it before the end of the month because, you know, it's not the end of the month. I'm still, I'm still working on pages that I might finish. I've got one upstairs that I might finish before I go to sleep tonight. I've, um, well, it looks awful and uh, it's a bit too far over on her nose, but, oh well, it'll be alright. Yeah, so I want to make sure that I get as many finished as I possibly can in order to um, make it look, you know, to, to make it as complete as possible. I'm still colouring in March, so even this, which you'll be seeing on April 1st, was coloured in March, so badly coloured in March, as you can tell. But hey, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully it'll look a bit better when I've um, actually finished it. Let's make it a bit more of a, a blusher. Yeah. It's a bit high and this one's not as high, so we'll put this one back up a bit higher. That's it. And I'll just put this on. So that looks a bit better, not a lot, but a bit. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just enjoying myself having a colour in one of the books I haven't coloured in for a while. And I like her feathers. We'll do her feathers brightly coloured, I think. it is I mean it's Easter weekend so long weekend with Jennifer which will be nice and try and find some nice stuff for her to do and play in the garden if it's nice and go for walks and if 
it's not so nice we can get a painting stuff out and we can all paint together and colour and it'll be fun. She did draw one of my books the other day. I was, it was yesterday, we were, she was out in the garden on her own. I had a book out there and uh, it was open. I should close it and I was colouring in uh, uh, one of the beautiful horror books, doing one of my whips in there and she put a few scribbles on it. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't look out of place at all. It actually looks fine. So I did say, don't you be colouring in Mummy's book now. And she looks a bit sheepish. I said, don't you care. Because you know, uh, she knows not to. But she did. But it, it's nothing. It's horrendous. In fact, it, it's in keeping with the pictures, so it doesn't really matter. So. I love the smell of these oh hoo hoo markers. You just look a bit. Just, just uh, try and blend in a bit more on her cheeks a bit, but uh, see how it looks afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do all this in one night because there's not a lot. There's a bit of a, a wing there and some sky, I think, but and some clouds. But generally, it's uh, mostly her and some hearts. So uh, yeah, these are quite nice pens. So yeah, I've done so many this month. There's a lot of patterns, I will admit, but I have coloured. Like I said, it's not even the end of the, uh, the month quite yet, so we'll have to s have to see what happens. I'm still reading a bit. I'm having a bit of a problem with my Kindle. It won't load in a certain set of books, so I've given up now. And I'm, I've moved on to another set, so I'm not too worried about that last one. I would have uh, read it. I was actually quite enjoying it, but <clears throat> I'll just check and re-download it if necessary. So I might have accidentally deleted it, which would explain. But it wasn't loading before I went to uh, was returning books, and because they're Kindle Unlimited ones, so. because my mum reads so quick I have to download loads. I said to the day I, I downloaded her a 20 book box set and I said right it says in here it takes 28 hours and 59 minutes for the average reader so I said I expect you'll have been finished it by midnight then. <laughs> this is like three o'clock in the afternoon because she does read so fast. It's unreal. She doesn't have anything else else to do I mean, she watches telly but she likes reading that's where I get it from. It says I read a lot of non-fiction as well as fiction, so. But some of this fiction I want to read, so I've got to try and read read them as quick as she does because uh, I need to return them and get the, um, that one goes in uh, that. I've got my markers in front of me on top of my laptop. There we go. Um, 11. So yeah, so, uh, we'll do a little heart here. I love this red. These colours are beautiful. I do like this. I've got the 200 set and they are just beautiful colours. So yeah, I have ordered my huge book haul of uh, colouring books that I bought with my bonus so obviously you're not going to see them to the end of the month but I'm very excited to be receiving them I will probably film flip throughs of some of them even though they're not all new in fact most of them are old I also am getting my copy of Worlds of Wonder tomorrow so I'm very excited about that I cannot wait that's going to be absolutely brilliant I've seen some pictures already coloured in it that are absolutely stunning so I'm really looking forward to that. Now, I love Johanna Batterford stuff. I don't do a lot of it. I'm not going to lie. And the reason is, I've got so many books. Oh, yeah. I've got so many books. I haven't counted them for a while because I've got books um, everywhere. I've got them down here where I'm filming at the moment because I'm still doing some... Uh, trying, trying very desperately to do some of the... Um, 
uh, first impressions. I've got uh, a few videos to do on that still. It's just getting the time and I've got a stack of uh, books. I've got whips in and I've got books by my bed that I want to colour in. Um, but I might cut a bit in, but I haven't, so I, you know, stuff like that. So I need to uh, get it all organised. So somebody said they want me to do my complete collection. I mean, it's going to be long because I not long did a complete Jade Summer collection book, and I'm not sure I want to go through all those again. There's so many of them. Um, right. I'm just thinking 49 and 44. 49, 40. Now this thing, some of the colours do not match, I'm telling you now. They really, really don't match. So you know how I do the hair, I do a little bit at a time. I could use the um, chisel tip on this bit actually because there's so much of it. I'm not big on using the chisel tip though. I don't really like the chisel tip. I might though, just to, not to speed up so fast because I want you to enjoy <coughs> the video, but it does take a long time to do some, the, the base of the hair and I'm thinking, oh, she's lovely. I mean, the chisel tip does do it a lot quicker if you use the full length of it, but I don't want to use the darker colour over the top and we can go over again with the lighter I normally do my girls with sort of dark hair because I've got dark hair but I thought I'd do, do them a bit blonde today a bit, bit of blonde one like this I probably won't use it I mean this is quite a thick one but so if you can hear noise in the background Paul is watching the football today it's the qualifiers for the World Cup He's watching that, which is fair enough. Try and encourage him to watch football whenever he wants to because he doesn't. We don't both don't get to watch much TV during the early evening and the day because of Jennifer. She wants what she wants on all the time. So when he gets the chance to, I kind of just let him because I, yeah, I think he should. He doesn't he doesn't watch much of what he wants so I'm quite happy to to let him It's quite mad. It's colouring laugh, you know. I just find it so relaxing. Um, you, I mean, my ear hurts every now and again, but it does take my mind off of it. So, yeah. I'm still watching um, 
find is Beepers History Seekers. They have some, they've got some very funny stuff on their channel. I'm in 2019, I think now, so I've gone back a good while. Because they didn't do as much as they normally do last year because of obviously the lockdowns and everything, so they couldn't do much. They did podcasts, but that would, you know, that, I watch them every now and again if I feel up to it. If, you know, I did watch one, <coughs> which was like about do you believe in ghosts, reincarnation, and all that stuff. So that was quite fun, but um, I'm more interested in the explorations. I, I guess if it's if you're watching it and it, you know they do it like they do, they premiere it, so you watch it with them and then you have a chat in the comments. slightly because uh, I can't get her hair in all right so let's just turn it this way so we can see it a bit better while I and all I'm doing is just put you using this big chisel tip for this so what are you guys covering what have you been covering anything good what's your favorite thing that you covered in March are you getting any good books have you all got the Johanna Bassett new book I know she's planning uh, one again for next year already. Um, Hannah Carlson's planning yet another one uh, as well. So um, yeah, I'm something to look forward to. All those books are fantastic. Um, so what is it? What are you looking forward to most coming out next? So, and what are you colouring in? Let me know. Have you bought any good supplies lately? Well, you know, if you're a reader, have you read anything interesting? Have you watched anything interesting? Now, I'll admit, I don't go with things like Netflix and Disney Plus. I do have Amazon Prime, but just because uh, Amazon Prime TV, but that's just because I've got Amazon Prime, so it comes as standard anyway. And I do occasionally watch them. I was really glad that they did Good Omens because I got to see that and I loved it. Because I love Sheen and Tennant. Two of my favourite actors there. You know, and I actually know Martin Sheen's uncle, actually. But there you go, that's completely different because uh, he uh, is from Wales, obviously, Martin, and his family live around here. And uh, yeah, he was involved in the amateur theatre I'm involved in. Well, I was involved in, I'm not so much these days, and I wasn't before the lockdowns because of, of having Jennifer, and obviously, she takes priority. But one day, I will. I will go back, yes, I will go back. But until then, there should be no tears, no regrets. Sorry, I'm quoting Doctor Who. <laughs> Just being silly now. Um, yeah, I'm still working my way through New Who. I haven't watched it for a while, actually, because I've been watching everything else. I might watch it tonight when I go up to bed. Because when I finish this, I will put it onto the uh, laptop. Get it all uh, edited together and... Yeah, let it set up because the editing takes a while and then it'll be ready to upload tomorrow and then tomorrow night <laughs> I get to count how many pictures I coloured oh my god that's going to be crazy to see how many pictures I coloured and I get to choose my favourite I don't know I don't know which one it's going to be this month actually I have to think about that and at the moment I can't think of anything I've done, apart from the one we did on camera, which was the uh, the fairy tales one, so we will have to have a look. But like I said, there are a lot of patterns. I didn't even finish my whip this month because I've got to put some, I've got to do the background and it's wet medium background, so I want to bring it down here to do. I just haven't got around to it. So next time I work on one of my watercolour uh, projects, which is like the um, the first impressions. We got two of those on go water water based ones i'll probably try and do it then so sort of find the uh, bits i need so it's all good fun yeah, being left-handed makes this really difficult but easier than if it was spiral bound i know people like spiral bounding but if you're left-handed it's worse than having the dip it's all right, something like the, the cover it books are fantastic because they spiral bind them at the top. But of course when you've got pictures that go across the middle, spiral bind them across the top is not going to really work. So 
you're never going to please everybody uh, you know if every book was spiral bound i wouldn't buy those ones no matter how much i like them oh i suppose i could because i've got my <clears throat> my new printer thing i could scan them and just assume it's working because it's been playing up i need to look at it again it's recording the page count correctly i have to try and print from within it again and um, just try and scan it so that'll be enough if i'm talking quietly i do apologize it's just like i said paul's watching football i think he said something about doing a zoom meeting with his friend tomorrow as well which is fine for me it means that that won't be for about uh, half eight nine o'clock anyway and i should just go upstairs put on some tv and either or, or and color or i will uh, sit and read a book I might read and i've got to film my reading wrap ups i've got to plan all that so i might do some of that get that ready tomorrow for filming i don't know if i'll be able to film it tomorrow there's not a lot of storage space on my computer to be honest and i have to keep deleting things to put new stuff on I need to get my external hard drives set up so I can put things like my... It's normally for photography, my photographs, uh, which is fine, that's what it's still for, but I can put my uh, colouring books on there, my PDFs, and then just transfer which bits over I want when I need them. The things like the Ava Browns, I'm not going to like this colour, print out again at the moment, but I might print them out one day again for Jennifer to colour. I like this lemon colour, it's nice. And I don't think you can see what I'm doing, but hey, I'll turn it that way now. I'm doing this bit. This bit here. So you can see it, it looks light in places and every now and again I just go back over it. But yeah, and this, this light one, that one is, the light one is called number 49 and it's barium yellow and the darker one is 35 and it's lemon yellow but they're very nice for blonde aren't they so, just do this bit here and here which is underneath the feathers I'll do this bit down here uh, yeah, I mean, I really like colouring my markers. It used to be that I only ever coloured with pencils, and now the majority of my colouring, especially on camera, is, is markers. And the reason for that is when you are doing one of these, you can sometimes do these in one or two videos, normally one. So at the moment, we're at 22, and the majority of this picture is her hair, and we haven't got much of that left to do. You know, and if it goes like nearer an hour, that's fine. But the. Um, pencils come into to two or three and even then you don't finish them always uh, like with the Goldilocks one I didn't finish it I have finished it by the way um, there was a little bit left to do and I finished it off camera because there wasn't enough to make another video um, but I didn't want to make the, the the third video too long so it's like mm, mm. there we go we'll just put some more down there give it a bit darker better we just need a little bit more just up here that's it like yep and up here and come down here and do this bit so if you, as you can see there's a lot of this that has now been done it's not going to take long to finish this which is quite good for me <laughs> and it means although it will be like over half an hour it's not going to be horrendously long for you guys I know some of you like long videos because you can sit in colour I like quite like the long videos as well especially when it's like colouring book collections and hauls I love haul videos that's where I do get some ideas for my what books I want to buy from haul videos like I said the Carla Magana one of the um, Hot Tropics now I'm not a huge Carla Magana fan I will admit that but I saw that book and I like, I, I want that book. I have to have it, you know? I have to have it. I can't get these back in now. I think I put one in the wrong one somewhere. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, number 44 should be in the other strip. It should be in that one and that one. I've got them set up so that they're in number order in the, the cases. Um, I haven't, they're just sitting in there, but I've got like one to such and such in one and then the next lot in the other and so on. So, okay, so um, I think we'll do that, that lovely red colour again. I think it was 11, yeah. 11 and then we'll uh, do oh look again look at this turn it this way we've got the clouds there and we've got some sky i do love these these beautiful books i i, mean, I love these hanalin ones and i've got it coming in my hall when you go in the holidays celebrate the holidays because that's what you can color in all year round um, and colour in the various holidays so I'm assuming there's going to be an Easter one in there so maybe we'll have a look at that I might do that one this month we'll have a look I just think that there we go these are just so cute I really love Hannah Lynn stuff I do right let's have a look at blue we'll have pastel blue or turquoise for the sky i think we'll go with turquoise which is 68 i know they always have one called sky blue but i never think it is the right color for sky can't see it it's here somewhere 66 that's the sky one i think where's that baby 68 i've got it 66 is baby blue Turquoise pastel. I don't know. Maybe there isn't a sky. I don't know. Anyway, this is a nice one. This turquoise blue. We'll just do around the clouds here. Oh, this is nice. I love these pens. I do think these are worth the price. Um, they're not expensive at all. You know, you may think, oh, this is an expensive set because it's around £100, but you get 200 markers for that and a blender. A plastic sheet, though I've got cardboard in this because it's not big enough. If I was using doing one of my really small books, and I do have some that have got one size, I would use a plastic sheet. Um, and the swatch charts, even though some of the colours don't match i tend to just go by the color and then pick it find the number I, mean, I ignore the names names aren't on the barrel so it doesn't really matter so so there we go let's get that down there then we've got her wings as well here as you can see which we'll do in a minute We've done around these scars. Da, da, da. Hmm. So my team at work have been voted team of the month. Pretty cool. I don't get anything, I don't think. Usually if you did it would be like some money to go out with, but obviously nobody's going anywhere. I'm going to get a very light grey for the um, clouds and I think I go with neutral grey too. So I've got all my greys together as well. There it is. It makes it easier to find them like that you see. And we'll just do the clouds and then we'll go back up and we'll do the um, feathers in a bit and her eyes and her wings. Now sometimes as you know you, I do wings with glitter pens but it depends on the image I'm doing so. On this one I won't be, A, because I've got no glitter pens here, and B, because I don't really want to, to do it that way today. I'm just doing a nice, simple, straight colour, straight chatting, and having some fun. I have got, um, so I ordered lots of different types of books so from different artists. So, for instance, I've got a, I've got Bennett Klein come in, I've got um, Maria Trollet come in, I've got... Um, Carla McGarner, I've got Hannah Lynn, Selena Fennec, oh, I can't think of half of them. 
there's an Ava Brown one in there. There is a Jade Summer one in there that I haven't got. Um, there's one by Colouring Book Cafe. And there's a few others. Sorry about that. Things that I think there's 15 altogether. So, plus Worlds of Wonder. So that's 16th for this month. I've just printed off Ava Brown's new one, so that's 17 books. And that's uh, technically came out yesterday, and I had it yesterday, but I haven't printed it out. And I've done my haul, so it'll go into next month's haul. Right, I think we'll do her eyes next. And we'll have a nice green. And I'm thinking the bud green at 181 is nice. If I find it, there it is sticking out there because it's in the one with all the braids for some reason. Um, yeah. It's just a nice green. Normally I put flex in it and everything, but I'm not going to today. I can't be bothered. I'm just enjoying it. I just wanted to say uh, hello, happy April Fools, and hope you're okay. Just have a good catch up and a chat. There's not a lot going on. Waiting for my second jab, which isn't till May. Paul hasn't had his first one yet because he's not at classes. He doesn't have an underlying condition. Um, black. He sticks out because he's in with the 120s, which is pinks and beiges and things. Some, yeah, they're funny the way they've got them set. But just gonna, I know there's supposed to be a catch light in her eyes, but I'm just going to... Make it like that. I might go over it with uh, Jelly Roll Glaze as well at some point. I don't know yet. It makes, it makes me laugh that none of these girls have got bottom eyelashes. Have you noticed? That one then goes there. Now, I think what colour should we do her feathers? I think I'm going to go with a pink because she's very pink and heartsy. So I think I'll have a, a number six, which is vivid pink. If I can find it, there it is for that and then we'll have yeah we'll have a th these done um, mm, well, that's the wrong end sorry that was the uh, end I don't use I'll leave the spine at the middle for a lighter pink and I'll do her um, wings in two pinks as well a bright one and a light one probably the same one I use for the middle of, her, of the thing so, like I said, this isn't taking us long. We're in, um, well, we're at uh, 32 minutes, so this will be nice. And have you watched anything? Anybody watched anything good? Like what I was saying, um, I only have Amazon Prime and uh, the normal TV channels. I do have some Sky and I have Virgin Media. If you're in the UK, I do like to uh, record a load of old movies from uh, both Talking Pictures and Sony Movie Classics. So I was gutted at Christmas when it changed from Sony Music Movie Classics to Sony Christmas. I was like, yeah, but none of these are actually classic Christmas films. I don't mind classic Christmas films. I don't like these stupid Hallmark made for television films. <laughs> Some of them are all right, but I'm a bit old fashioned with um, movies. I love old movies. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't make good movies today because some of them are brilliant. I've seen some lovely films in the last 10 years and I've seen some that aren't so good. And there are some I don't want to watch and there are some ones I do. Um, but I could just sit and watch classic movies for hours and hours and it doesn't matter who the stars are. Even the war films are good. And I don't generally don't like war films. But I would happily sit and watch, you know, um, The Great Escape. Great Escape's a brilliant movie. Damn Busters, that's a brilliant movie. I've got one to watch, actually. I've got a, silent, a couple of silence to watch. I've got um, uh, Wings, which is a World War One movie starring Clara Bow. It was the first Best Picture winner at the Oscars. Yeah. And I've got... Um, Son of the Sheik, Rudolph Valentino. I might have to try and watch one of those over the Easter weekend, or both of them. You know, Paul. I can't watch it upstairs because of Blu-rays, and I don't have a Blu-ray player upstairs at the moment. I might be able to put one up at some point because I've got a PlayStation Two, which is a blue, a PlayStation Three, which is a Blu-ray, and a PlayStation Four, which is a Blu-ray. And I do play games. I just don't play very often. It's a bit, bit hard with Jennifer. I'd have to play them at night, and I'm always reading, colouring and, and 
doing YouTube stuff and eBay stuff. I haven't done eBay for ages, but that's something I need to get back into for April. There's a new tax year coming up, so I want to get back into it for that, really. This, I, I, know, I know most of you probably won't know who this person is that I'm going to mention, but she actually reminds me of Samantha Fox with her wild blonde hair and the feathers in it, but then she just does. Now I want to listen to my Samantha Fox albums. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know that the Brits out there know who she is. Most Brits know who she is. I've missed a strand of hair, so I'll get the yellow out. I know which one it, ones it is, and I'll, I'll finish that in a minute. Yeah, Samantha Fox. So yes, while I like classic movies, I do like modern ones. I mean, when I say classic, that's a misnomer. I like what they call the golden age of Hollywood, which golden age is really the 30s through to around 65 at the, at the top, top end. I mean, it's, it's late, less than that, really. Some people class the golden, whoops, golden age of uh, movies ending in 19... Um, in the 1950s, early 50s, like 51 or 52. Um, some people class it as... Uh, a bit later. Personally, I class it as around 1965, 66. To me, that's that's it. But that'll do. I, but I do like. I'm just looking for a colour now. Mm. <laughs> Castle Rose, seven and eight. I'm just looking at colours. I do apologise. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to get a, a case where you, they've actually got, like the RT is a case, they're really good. Seven and eight. Okay. Um, Yeah, so, I, I mean, a classic movie can be from any era. It's how it stands up over the next 10 to 20 years, I think, uh, for a classic film. Um, but Golden Age of Hollywood, I class of anything from the silent era up to around 65, 66. But that doesn't mean to say I don't think things like Star Wars and Back to the Future aren't classic movies and worth watching, because I certainly do. Um, yeah, Back to the Future, one of my favourites. Right, Rose is a lighter colour according to this slightly, that's number eight, so. I absolutely love Back to the Future, it is one of my favourite movies. Um, I saw it in the cinema, twice, with my best friend. And then I, um, I have it on DVD, uh, I absolutely love it. And. I love Star Wars. The original trilogy is amazing. I really love watching them. Uh, and, and some from the 90s that I, I, there are classic films from the 90s, whether you enjoy them or not, they've start, they, they have, some of them have, have stood the test of time and stand up well. Um, so it's just a matter of what you like. Um, but I do love Golden Age of Hollywood. I love I'm trying to watch more than the stars, more more of the of the films than I would have normally. I, I usually stick to the same few stars, such as obviously Marilyn Monroe, Betty Grable, Jean Harlow, uh, Judy Garland. Now I'm trying to branch out to other stars as well. Um, I like any of the old musicals, so that's fine. But like for instance, um, there's a lot of films I haven't watched that I've got that I want to watch that I would not have watched 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. Anyway, I have now finished this book. This picture is about 40 minutes long. This video is not bad, is it? And here she is. Here is our Samantha Fox-esque fairy from Hanlin's Enchanted Faces. 
She's not bad. I'm not sure about her blushes, but uh, I've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that really, really helps. Um, leave me a comment down below if there's if you've if you've got any answers to the questions, what you've read, seen, driven, drawn, you know, coloured, bought. If you've enjoyed this video, just let me know. Put a little thumbs up. And don't forget to share and subscribe with your friends. And I'll see you again tomorrow with my end of the month colouring pages roundup. Bye, guys.